Hello everyone and welcome to a new series that I'm really excited to start on. So this is Poe Bother, my player owned house based chunk locked ultimate Iron Man. And uh, yeah, that's quite a mouthful and there's a lot to go over. But since I know I'm not going to explain this all well, or at least not briefly at the start of a video, uh, there's a document in the description that goes over all the information and rules for this account in far more detail than I can do here. But to give a quick overview on how this account will work, so it's an ultimate Iron Man, so no trading and no banking. Uh, the player on house base part of it pretty much just means I want to focus on building up a good player on house and getting stuff that's storable. I still will probably use a uh, looting bag and death storage when I have access to them, but I want to focus more on going after stuff I can store away, be it on a player owned house or a stash unit, so I can empty out my inventory when I need to and I don't have a ton of items I need to keep on me. The chunk lock part is a little more complex to explain, but the simple version of it is I am restricted to certain areas of the map. Now this only applies to the surface world and not to underground areas like dungeons, but as you can see, everything is currently locked off except for my starting chunk here in Remington. Now, since the Remington locked Ultimate Iron Man wouldn't be the most uh, exciting series, I can unlock more chunks, and there's a few ways I can do this. So the first way I can unlock more chunks is by getting my total level. Every 10 total levels, I can unlock a new chunk. Next is I unlock a new chunk every time I complete a quest or a tier of an achievement diary like easy, medium, hard, etc. And lastly, I can unlock a new chunk every time I complete one of the account goals listed in the document in the description. There is a bit more to it than that, like the different type of chunk unlocks I can get when a chunk becomes unlockable and some exceptions, but I think it's going to be easier to just explain those as they come up. So uh, yeah, without further ado, let's get into it. Now that the intro is out of the way, I want to take a moment to go over my starting chunk because there's actually a good bit to talk about here. Now I picked Remington as you might guess because it has the play around house portal and well, if I'm going to be play around house base, I kind of need to access it. But there's actually uh, a lot of things that are really good here for a new account. So uh, first you have the town here itself as a general store with the basic stuff, as well as an NPC to a note items, which is pretty much like a bank for an ultimate Iron Man. There's uh, the crafting store over here, which has all the molds as well as a needle and thread, which is very nice. There's the rain shop here, with some rats to train on, as well as a, uh, where's the NPC? Ah, hiding there. Uh, a rain shop with arrows and bows. Now, it doesn't have the lower tier arrows, so they're going to be a bit costly, but still, it is a good way to train range that you usually don't have access to at the start of a chunk locked account. We have uh, the Witch's Potion quest here, which isn't too notable for the moment. But then in this house, we have a bronze pickaxe spawn, and then upstairs, we have a bronze scimitar spawn with two pickpocketable NPCs. And to top it all off, to the north we have some normal trees to cut, some oak trees, a mine that has copper, tin, clay, iron, and gold, and then a field with uh, cabbages and onions. So uh, yeah, there's a lot of stuff in the starting chunk. Oh, and don't forget a crop circle here in a wheat field. I can't access that yet, but uh, that'll be very nice later on. But yeah, so to start off, I think I'm going to uh, start cutting some trees and burning the logs to get my total level. I think I'm actually just going to go for 50 total levels so we can do ch two chunk unlocks at once because it doesn't really matter if I do one unlock and then train another few levels and do another because uh, the second chunk's really not going to help me right away. Oh, and also, uh, I did grab, or I still have all the answers to the tour, I, I did grab the ultimate iron armor, and I also got a genie lamp while uh, setting this up to record, but I think I'm going to hold on for that for the moment. So uh, yeah, see you at 50 total level. And with this log, I will get, there it is, 50 total level. So now I have two new chunks to unlock. Oh, also, I got lederhosen and shorts, but um, I probably will stick to the ultimate iron man armor. And I'm probably not going to get a place to deposit this before, uh, you know, I need inventory space. So let's just drop it down and pretend that didn't happen. But uh, yeah, so two new chunk unlocks. So how I'm going to be unlocking chunks is with the chunk picker. Uh, conveniently in another window here. So how this works is I can only pick chunks that I can access from the chunk I'm in. So from this chunk, I can access these. And well, let's just pick a chunk and go from there. Okay. That is actually a really big chunk. So the reason this is so notable is not only do I get, well, Malzar's Maze will come up later, but uh, right here is a boat to Artie. So that means I can't really go, 
Actually, I can go north of this chunk, so that technically is one I can unlock. I can't really go south of it. As per my rules, I can stand here, but I can't do anything in this chunk but stand here. So I'm going to wait until I can actually, you know, access the chunk proper to unlock it, rather than saying, oh, I can stand here, I can unlock it. No, that's not really worth unlocking. But like I said, that boat... Actually, can I go to a... Uh, let's actually uh, swap back to the game here. Uh, yeah, let's actually uh, quickly run over here. Can it go to Brimhaven End already? If so, that means we have, uh, yes. So I can now go to Artie and Brimhaven. So we head back here. This chunk and that chunk are now unlockable. So, uh, yeah, this is getting very interesting. Which chunk will we unlock now? Okay, it wasn't, uh, one of those, but it was set down here. Which means this chunk and this chunk are now unlockable. So, uh, yeah, unfortunately, we didn't get too terrible. Oh, we can start fishing, I think. I don't know, I'll go check out those fishing spots, but uh, I guess for the moment, I'm going to keep working on my uh, total level and uh, hopefully get a few more chunk unlocks. Also, we can't get to Corsair Cove yet. You need to talk to the NPC first. I came down here and did some uh, fishing and cooking, and now I'm at 60 total level for the next chunk unlock. So aside from a fishing spot down here, though, I did get access to several more willow trees. I only had one in my chunk previously. Uh, I didn't mention the altar. And uh, yeah, I also do have access to an anvil now, although uh, the dungeon down here is just out of my chunk. But uh, yeah, that was a bigger chunk than I thought it was, especially for the anvil. But uh, now let's see what the next chunk I get is. Oh. So, uh, okay. I guess technically I also can do that one. Uh, I'm not sure if I want to go to Brimington yet, but it is a notable chunk. Uh, it will have a farming patch. Uh, also have the farm patch up there. I technically could buy a rake off the gardener and start raking the farming patches for some experience, but I don't think I want to really do that yet, especially because I know there's jungle spiders and I'm still level three combat. So, uh, yeah. So I think for now, I'm probably going to stick to uh, trying to... Where's the fishing spot go? Uh, trying to work on fishing a bit more and just training up my skills in the current chunks. Also, I do have this experience lamp, and I probably should use it. So I think the skill I want to put it on is Hunter. I know it's kind of the stereotypical thing for uh, Snowflake Iron Man accounts, but I really would like to get to 1700 to get to Puro Puro because it will be very important for my account. And I do not see myself getting to any hunter training methods anytime soon. So, uh, I don't know, I don't want a lamp all the way there, but I might as well start since I had a lamp. And here is another cooking level, which gives me 70 total level, so yet another chunk unlock. I'm sure this is gonna slow down once I get past the early levels of the account. But, uh, yeah, let's see what chunk I get now. So, center it back up, pick a chunk, and okay, Mudskipper Point. Well, um... I don't think that unlocks much. I mean, it is a fairy ring location for later, but I don't think there's anything down there. I don't know. I can go check it, check it out, but also I can't unlock any nearby chunks. So back to grinding skills to hopefully get uh, one of the more interesting chunks. Uh, just to mention what chunks I would like, I really would like to get to Artie. And I also would really like to get to Port Serum, which would unlock a ton more, but especially getting the shops here would be very nice. I decided to mix things up a bit and take an inventory of fish and come here and start training thieving while picking up the bronze uh, scimitar spawn. And there is 10 thieving as well as 80 total level. So uh, actually, uh, there it is. Had to pull it up from another window. So yes, another chunk unlock. That's what I'm trying to say. And yes, we got port serum. So this is kind of what I was hoping for and why I was starting to get money because, well, Either I need to pay the ship fare to get the Artie or Brimhaven, or I need to be buying stuff at Port Serim. So, uh, this has a lot of stuff to it. I need to take a minute and actually walk around and see all the locks, because there's a lot of boats here, and a lot of places I can get to now. After spending a few minutes to check out Port Serim, uh, yeah, this is a huge unlock for the account. So we do have the fishing shop and the rune shop, which are both big. But we also have all these boats, and we hop over to the chunk picker just to see the map. So this not only unlocked the first one of Untrana, which I really hope I can get to soon, but now we also have the Void Knight outpost and the first two chunks on Zaya we can start to unlock, because you can access, uh... Veos to take you to uh, Karend without having to do any quests. So, uh, yeah, I'm not sure what I actually want to do now, though, because 
I'm at the point where I have a lot of skills I can train, and I mean, I need to st keep working on total level. I can't really do much for quests. Actually, oh, I forgot about that. I can do for quests, because I was going to say, uh, mention, I now have access to Eye of Newt, which I picked up from the magic shop, which means I can do Witch's Potion. The only other ingredients are the onion, which I can pick up here, and then getting a burnt meat and a rat tail. So I pretty much I just need to kill uh, the giant rat down there. I might want to do a bit of combat training first, but... When I complete the quest, I also get an unlock. I've been focusing so much on total level, I forgot my own rules. <laughs> so I think I'm going to uh, do a bit of combat training and try and uh, get a bit better stats to take on the giant rat. And then we can complete Witch's Potion. Okay, so a bit of a change of plans. It was uh, taking a while to train on the small rat, so I decided to go ahead and just kill the big rat and complete Witch's Potion. So if we drink this, I get a few magic levels, and most importantly, I now have a quest completed, which means I get to roll another chunk. So if we head here, and uh, let's see, go back to center and zoom in, pick a chunk, and we get... Oh. Well, that's interesting. So, now we can officially head over to Zaya, but we can't really do much there. I don't think... Actually, I can do this info feature. I keep forgetting that's here. So, yeah, there's a few things on the dock. Uh, some spiders. But not honestly be a terrible place to train. I don't think, uh, yeah, no item spawns. But at least we can, uh, start working towards, uh, more of Karend. I wouldn't mind getting, uh, Piscarillus, though, because there are some things here that are useful. I came back here to work a bit more on thieving, and there is 90 total level, so time for another chunk unlock. So for this chunk, oh, well, I don't think that's the most useful. I mean, it does give me the snake grass for later, but I can't even get uh, up here yet, because it looks like, uh, yeah, the crafting guild blocks me from going up. So, um, yeah, not that great of an unlock for the moment. And with this tree, there is a hundred total level. So this is a big deal, not just because I get another random chunk unlock, but I also get something else. But first, let's uh, just pick the random chunk, which is... Oh, Entrana! Okay, this is the chunk I've been waiting to get. So this will become very important very shortly. But first, uh, I need to explain what the uh, hundred total milestone is. So, in the rules and the chunk unlocks, I get a random chunk every 10 levels, but a double chunk every 100 levels. So, what a double chunk is, is there's this roll 2 feature, and it will pick two chunks at random, but then I get to choose which, uh, which of the two chunks I unlock. So, uh, yeah, now I get to roll one of them as well, because I not only hit a 10 level milestone, but the 100 level. And the two chunks are... Oh! Well, that's interesting. Uh, <laughs> hmm. I had to take a minute to think it over, but I think I will be unlocking the chunk above Hosidius because, well, it's going to be nice to work towards Hosidius and also towards the center of Karend. The main thing I was considering with the chunk down here is that there is the hunter spots, but I still don't have access to the hunter equipment and none of it spawns down here, so it didn't seem worth getting it just for that. And both of them have flax and some of the other features I was after. So, yep, yeah, that's the chunk I have for now. And now there's something else I can go do. And that something else is one of those things I mentioned at the start that I'd get to later. So you might be wondering why I'm in Varrock. I haven't unlocked Varrock yet. And that's because I'm here to make an exception. So it doesn't really work to have a player-owned house-based Ultimate Iron Man if I can't have a player-owned house, because the issue is, I'm down here, that's where the house portal is, but the sawmill's way over here, and the estate agents, well, I'm not that far from the Falador one, but still, it would take a while to get to the estate agents, and even longer to get to the sawmill for a saw. So if I come in here, I can pick up a saw, and I can also talk to the estate agent to buy a house now that I have 1k coins. So that was the reason I was trying to get all that uh, money saved up. There we are. So now I have a starter house in Remington and a saw. So I have everything I need to train construction. Well, almost everything. I just kind of need to get the planks and the nails. But I have some ideas on how to do that. Well, this was not a fun skill to train, but there is five ranged. So I decide to get that so I can now use oak bows because, well, the shop here only sells 
oak bows and higher, and uh, also steel arrows, which I need an oak bow or higher to use. So I had to pick up the bronze arrow spawn and uh, kill the rats in here. Yeah, I, I can't say I recommend. But now I can get rid of the short bow to save one inventory slot because I can buy back an oak bow later. And that's important because, uh, well, let's just head into my uh, player-owned house real quick. So this is my player-owned house. You know, not much to it. But how I will train the skill is by building chairs. But to build chairs, I need planks and nails. Now, the nails is the only part I can't get quite yet. I have, I do know some places where I can get nails, or I could even spit them myself. The problem is, while I can make bronze, or can get the tin and copper, I don't have a furnace yet. So, I either need to unlock a furnace and I can make my own bronze nails, or I can unlock a shop in uh, Port Piscarillus that has bronze nails. For the planks, though, I need to get the planks on Entrana, which is why I was so happy to unlock that, because there's plank spawns right there. So that's going to be my method of training construction. Go to Entrana, get planks, come back, build. Uh, that does mean, though, I need to get rid of the short bow, the axe, which I'm not sure if I can get that back or how easy that's going to be, and the ultimate Iron Man armor. But uh, first, I need to sort out nails before I do that. So, uh... Yeah, I probably need to train a bit more, get a few more unlocks, and hopefully unlock one of the things that gets me closer to nails. So now that I trained up ranged a bit and got rid of the short bow, I also went ahead and used up the runes and got a few magic levels so I could uh, get a bit more inventory space there. Then I went ahead and caught a bunch of fish, and I was planning to train combat, but I realized I'm only one level off another unlock, so I probably should do that first. And yep, there we go, there's 15 thieving, 110 total, and now we can pick another chunk. So we get... Oh, so as per my uh, rules, when I unlock the area that has the minigame, I also unlock the minigame. So I don't have to roll the island separately. I just get that as a free unlock. So now I do have the shops down here, which I think I probably will go and check out. And uh, yeah, I could start pest control, but I need a combat level for that. So I think what I'll probably end up doing now is I will uh, take this food and some of these scimitars and uh, start go killing goblins or whatever else is nearby, maybe star on the rats, to uh, get some attack uh, strength and defense levels and probably have another unlock pretty soon. The levels have been coming in here pretty fast at goblins, so I end up waiting to get to 130 total so we can actually roll two chunks now. And, uh, okay, let's see what the first chunk is. Oh, okay, that's a pretty good one. I think that does unlock a decent bit of the farm. It might actually even be worth, uh, oh, I could also, uh, go to Corsair Cove now, because I can start the quest. So, yeah, that's actually pretty big, and I technically can go up through this one. While I can't access the bulk of the chunk, it does connect me to this chunk if I unlock it, and this one. So, uh, yeah, and I also can start working towards, uh, Actually, oh, I can even unlock this one because I can uh, should be able to get around that fence. So yeah, that was a pretty big unlock. And now I have another... Oh, wait, I also uh, should go down and mark uh, Corsair Cove now because I'm pretty sure I can talk to the NPC and start the quest. And the next one is... Ooh! I don't think I can get to Sand Crabs yet. I think they're down here. But uh, that is a step towards them. Okay, so I'm going to continue training a bit more. Uh, probably, I want to try and get to 15 strength so I get a max out of 3. It's uh, pretty low with these uh, bronze weapons. But uh, yeah, I'm going to keep training up melees, and hopefully we can get a bit closer to where I can get bronze nails, because that's still the thing I'm uh, needing to try and unlock. So uh, I was editing the video while training on goblins, and uh, I caught something that uh, completely slipped my mind at the time. So remember how I've been trying to get bronze nails because I have the mine here and the anvil here, but I didn't have access to a furnace? There's a furnace on Entrana. So uh, when I unlocked Entrana, I not only unlocked the planks, but I also had the ability to make nails the whole time. So uh, yeah, uh, I can start on construction whenever then. But uh, since I have been training, there's level 3 defense, and also 150 total, so I do get two new unlocks. It would be a bit, I guess, ironic if I unlock the other chunk of nails now. Also, to pick up a clue that's in uh, East Artie, so it's possible we could unlock that chunk. Okay, so the first chunk I'm unlocking is... Ooh, Draenor. So I also can head down to the Wizard Tower now, which would give me Imp Catcher, and also head over here to the Ham Hideout, and also, I think, Start Lost City, but I wouldn't be able to complete it. 
So, I don't know, that's a pretty nice chunk. Uh, I don't think there's anything... Oh, I could start Porcine of Interest. Uh, and I also... Hmm, yeah, I don't think I have access to too much else here. Or at least that will be helpful right now. So, the next chunk unlock will be... Oh, that's nice. Oh, actually, that's really nice. So, one, it was annoying not to have this, but I not only have the dungeon, I have the charter ship. So, now I can access all the ports around the game that have a charter ship. Uh, I need to look into how many ports that is. Well, this is embarrassing. So, when I looked up the charter ship locations, I realized that, uh, this chunk isn't what unlocked charter ships for me. It should have been this chunk back at the start of the series. So, uh... Yeah, my bad. I completely forgot charter ships were in Brimhaven and forgot again that they were in uh, Musa Point down here. So, uh, yeah, I should have had the other charter ship locations unlockable for quite some time now, and I didn't. But the only new locations at this point are uh, Port Kazard, Kazard, however you pronounce that, and uh, Cathaby. All the other locations I either already had unlocked, or they were ones that I already could have rode, like uh, Corsair Cove. The rest of them all need quests, so uh, yeah, those are the only new charter ship locations, but it is still a pretty big upgrade, or a pretty big deal, because there are also some items in the charter ship shop that will probably be helpful. I came here to check out the shop, and I was right, this is a pretty big unlock, so we uh, trade Trader Stan here. There's a few items of note here. The first is, this is the first time I have access to a knife, unless that's another thing I messed up and I already had for several trunk unlocks now, but I'm pretty sure this is the first time I've had access to a knife, which means I can start training fletching. The other thing is I now can get pineapples to make super compost, which isn't that useful at this point, but it will be nice when I actually start getting seeds to plant that I can have better compost. And the final thing is, uh, I now can do, uh, glass blowing. I could have done this on Entrana, but I don't think I had access to the sand pit or any way to get sand. So now I can actually start training crafting, or at least have a crafting method for early on, because I can make, uh, beer glasses at level 1, I think. So yeah, that was a pretty big unlock, or a pretty nice unlock. But I think this is where I'm going to end off the first episode. Uh, it doesn't feel like I did that much, or at least, you know, I don't have that high of a total level yet. And my region, I don't know, it's sizable, but it feels like I haven't really got too much, especially to play around house stuff. But now that I know I can uh, make my own nails, uh, in the next episode, I expect there'll be a lot more progress and also uh, a little bit of a slowdown on the rapid chunk unlocks. So yeah, anyway, hopefully you guys have enjoyed the start of this new series. And until next time, goodbye.